Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the Winnebago Intent. Now, Winnebago has forever been known for safety and quality in its Class A motor coaches. One of the reasons is because of its steel superstructure in the front cab area, and they don't sacrifice any of that in this entry-level Class A coach. Notice the beautiful molded fiberglass cap, and then something I want to talk about. Winnebago uses more steel and metal than any other manufacturer in the industry. So one of the things that they do is right here where the windshield wipers are mounted, there's a steel plate back there. So that's gonna to add to the quality and durability of those windshield wipers, because there's a lot of torque on those. Check out that huge windshield. That's one of the other things I love that Winnebago gives you. Believe it or not, in the entry level gas coach, a lot of the manufacturers still mount their windshields to fiberglass. Winnebago doesn't cut any corners, it mounts its windshield to steel, so that's going to increase your safety. One of the things you'll immediately notice when you go inside of Winnebago is the great visibility. And this big windshield and the side window, one of the reasons they can do that is because of this A-pillar. It's very narrow, so you don't have a big blind spot right here at the corner on both sides of the coach. And they can do that because of that steel structure that's inside there. We have our first marker light for the passenger side of the coach. We have our side cameras, so we have those on each side of the coach, so that when you turn those on with your turn signal, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the coach. We have our heated and internally controlled side view mirrors. One of the features that I really like on the Intent is this big passenger window. So, passengers couldn't be sitting there. You also have a screen. They can open it completely, and then you can move that screen forward so that as you're driving down the road, you're not looking through the screen. So I really like that feature. All right, there's a few cool things I wanna show you right here. So first of all, I love this. But I, first time I saw it, I thought it was genius. So this is the Pet Pal. So you can easily hook your pet's leash to the Pet Pal and they can you know, safely play around this area of the coach. You can also use this, say that you've got a mountain bike or something, you're out in the mountains, you wanna lock it to something securely, you don't wanna take it inside the coach, you can do that right here as well. So that's pretty cool. And if you wanna remove this for some reason, it's just one bolt release on the inside and you can take it off. But I think it's pretty cool. Then inside this door, we've got our two Group 31 AGM batteries. So AGM batteries are pretty much maintenance free. This is a lot of power. It's gonna give you a lot of power for a Class A gas coach. And above the batteries, we have our two 110 outlets. Then let's go over to our second compartment door. Huge storage bay here. Now there's a couple things I wanna point out inside of here. First of all, we've got a light. Now that's really nice, long, and deep storage. And then we've got our slide out room controller for this slide right here. And more importantly, a lot of people don't know this, but the second com compartment back on the passenger side, inside this door is where you're gonna have your battery disconnect. This is built on the Ford 18,000 pound chassis. It comes with the 19 and a half inch wheels. Winnebago puts on the rear valve stem extension, so it makes it really easy to check the tire pressure or fill them with air. So behind door number three, <laughs> This is a really cool door too. So we've got a light in here. Turn that on so you can see what we're looking at. So this is Winnebago's force flow manifold plumbing system. One of the things I like is they give you easy instructions to winterize. Now, you won't have to worry about that if we're lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where you'll always be plugged into 30 amp service. So you can see how all of the plumbing comes into one service center, so your service technicians love this. Another thing is that there's less connections and fittings, 70% less connections and fittings. So one of the big things you worry about with an RV is leaks. They've reduced the chance of that by reducing the number of connections and fittings. So you're gonna have less opportunity for leaks, you're gonna have better water flow, and again, your service technicians are gonna love you because everything's in one spot. And here's one of the water pumps for the coach. So behind this door is one of my favorite features. I get asked for this a lot in a Class A coach and it, the intent gives it to us in every floor plan. So it's an outdoor kitchen. 
the door just opens and then it magnets up to the top. So that's gonna stay right up there. And then, so you can bring your family, friends over, cook outside. You've got this nice little TV. Actually, we've got a light in here first. Light and then we've got a TV that we can pull out and angle that whatever direction works the best. And it fishes right back in. Another thing I want to notice is that they really were thoughtful when they did this, you know, the girly part of me. I love that they finished off the inside of the cabinet. It looks like wood, um, backsplash, so I really like that. We have a little countertop for prep area. Nice little sink that has its own five gallon holding tank. So as you use this sink out here, you just need to hit the little drain so that it will drain into that. They were really thoughtful in their design, so they've given us a bottle opener here. We can hang a trash can from here or a hand towel. Then we've got some storage for you know our cooking utensils, extra prep space for our food, and then we have our refrigerator and a little mini freezer. Check out those cute little ice cubes. <laughs> um, but this is just really nice. Again, it br it's bringing us out into the outdoors and allowing us to kick together and get together with our family and friends. And then we've got storage below here with a little cargo net to keep it all in place. And then we have a 110 outlet here and a 110 outlet there. Since we have the opportunity to be cooking outside, we don't wanna be sitting in the hot sun. So we're gonna go ahead and extend the full length awning. So it goes from the back of the coach all the way to the front cap. So right inside the front door, we have our awning out button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and extend it. And if you wanna stop it part way, you can, or just continue it all the way out. And as a little bonus, we also have the LED lights. And you can direct those lights. So if you want them to be a little bit towards the coach, just push the end button, or if you want them down at the ground, just hit the out button. So I went ahead and brought out the slides because there are a few things I wanted to show you about the slides. First of all, the two track system. Winnebago has spent hundreds of hours and thousands of iterations testing this system. And you can see it's got deeper teeth and it has a little give so that you're not gonna have a problem with it binding. Then if you look at the top, We've got the slide topper on this. You're not typically gonna get a slide topper in your entry-level Class A gas coaches. Let's talk about the floor here. Winnebago uses marine grade plywood and then they reinforce it with a aluminum, sheet of aluminum, and their engineers say that that strengthens the floor by 50%. It also gives it a nice smooth flat surface for going in and out. Our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach and let's talk about what's going on in the back here. So if you look up at the top, we've got two small marker lights on each corner and then a big one in the center of the coach. Along with in the center, we have our rear view camera. Just below that, we have a big window. So I love having a window in the bedroom um, to see out the back. So many times you get to a campground and you're parked you know, backed up to the lake and there's no window. But you've got a window to enjoy that. And this is also your emergency exit window if needed. Then we've got our brake lights, our little light for our National Indoor RV Center's license plate. You can fill that with your own license plate. And then we've got the seven way for our tow vehicle. Our hitch is a 5,000 pound hitch with a 500 pound tongue weight. So this is something that you typically don't see, is this is our fuel fill. Now, I think that's a great uh, idea, actually, because how many times have you gone to the gas station and you're waiting for a pump for one side or the other? With it being in the back here, you can fill your coach from either side. So I think that's cool. This is your 80 gallon uh, gas fuel fill. Here we have our ladder for roof access for service. Now the roof is made out of PVC and you have a 12 year warranty on that. Most coaches at this level, you're gonna see a flat roof. Winnebago's gone ahead and just crowned it a little bit. With the flat roof, you're gonna have issues with water pooling and possibly then leaking. This way, the, the water's just gonna run off the side. They also use a heavy insulation and you have up to five inches of insulation in the center of your roof. So here on the driver's side, we've got our marker light, and then we've got our 4,000 watt Onan generator. Now this is a gas generator, so it's gonna draw from your 80 gallon fuel tank, 
and it's the coach is automatically going to protect itself too. So you can use your generator until you get down to a quarter of a tank of fuel left. Once you hit a quarter tank of fuel left, it's going to go ahead and shut off your generator so that you've got the fuel for the engine. One of the things I love about Winnebago is you get a lot of story, storage. So in this coach, you have 80 cubic feet of exterior storage. This is one of our larger storage compartments. And we've got a light in here. That's always nice. You can see how big it is. And I also want to point out while we're in here, you can see the wiring. This is one of the reasons our techs at National Indoor RV Centers love to work on Winnebago's. First of all, you have a wiring diagram. So anywhere in the coach, say I want to add an outlet or um, put something in, our technicians can look at that wiring diagram and know right where the wires are in the wall. The other thing they do is they label them every three inches, just like you'll see in the automotive ind industry. Inside this compartment, we have our 30 amp shore power cord and our connection for our black and gray tank drain and our connection for our sewer hose. So a couple things here. First of all, anytime my uh, 30 amp is in with my uh, drains and my sewer connection, I wanna make sure I do all my electrical first. So I'll hook up that first. If you go to my RV 101 Series 3 video, I walk through how I hook up um, my shore power, my water, my sewer, everything in detail. So you can watch that and get a few little hints. Um, what I like about this is they have given us uh, a spot where we can thread our 30 amp shore power cord through so that we can keep this uh, compartment completely sealed off when we are all hooked up. Same for our sewer hose. We also have a light in this compartment and we have the slide out room controller for this slide right here. Here we have the exhaust for your furnace, and then we have the solar um, plug-in. So let me talk a little bit about that. You're, you're prepped for solar in the intent. You have three um, plug-ins on your roof, and you have the one here. It can take up to 475 watts of solar. And I know if you look at the manual, it's gonna say 450, but I have checked with the factory, and it will take up to 475. Now, the one that's here is kind of nice because say you're, uh, you've got a couple solar panels up top, but you're parked in this beautiful camping spot and you're, you know, you've got shade all around you, which is great to help maintain the coolness of the coach, but you want to have some solar power. This is where you can go plug in a portable one, walk it out into the sunshine and get some of that uh, solar panel from a portable one. So you can plug that in here. Then we've got our satellite in and our cable in. And then here we have our black waste tank flush and our freshwater inlet. So let me talk a little bit about the tanks. First of all, your freshwater tank is 48 gallons, your gray is 45 gallons, and your black is 31. One of the things I love about Winnebago is that they make um, their own parts. They, they manufacture almost 75% of their own parts from their aluminum billets, they come in in billets, they extrude them and they make this aluminum superstructure to their holding tanks. And one thing that's great about that is that they make it to fit each coach. So they're not buying it from a manufacturer that, you know, the water, the freshwater tank comes in this size only and they have to make it fit. They actually, it's custom made for that coach. So you're either gonna get 30% more storage or you're gonna get 30% more water um, capacity in the coach. So those are really nice features that you get with Winnebago. So I mentioned the aluminum superstructure, so let's just talk a little bit about that. Winnebago builds this coach differently than most motorhome manufacturers do. Most manufacturers would build this like they build a house, so they take the wall and slap it up against the frame with a butt joint, so that as you're going down the road, you've got this big square box that's gonna take all these twists and torques, um, and what is holding it together are now the screws in that butt joint. Winnebago does it differently. They use interlocking joints. So you're gonna have the interlocking joints, the aluminum frame attached to the steel superstructure up front. It gives you a nice solid box, a secure house. So you can go and take an old RV out. You're gonna hear lots of squeaks and creaks and rattles. Go and take an old Winnebago out and it's gonna feel much more solid durable. Winnebago uses the thermal panel walls, which gives you better insulation, so that's going to keep your keep your coach cooler during the summer and warmer during the winter. Here's our six gallon turbo water heater. So that means that you're going to be able to get about three military showers or one nice long 
15 minute shower, but you better be sure that you're done when that 15 minutes is up. <laughs> and here is the exhaust for our engine. Just something to note, it's really nice when they put that on the driver's side of the coach along with your generator exhaust. That way you can enjoy the patio and the outdoors on the passenger side of the coach without any of the exhaust fumes. Here is another one of our big storage compartments which contributes to that 80 cubic feet of external storage in the Winnebago. So one of the things I want to talk about before we move into the storage compartment is uh, I talked about that Winnebago makes almost 75% of its parts. This is huge. Our technicians and our customers love this. Um, one of the most frustrating things when you're in the, uh, when you have an RV is waiting for parts. The fact that Winnebago makes 75% of its parts is wonderful. Our technicians can call and get a part. One of the things that I'll point out throughout the video is there's a little label on basically every part. So on your cushions, on your doors, throughout this coach. Never take those labels off <laughs> because all you have to do to replace that part is call Winnebago, give them that information, and they can make you that part. So that is huge. Our techs love it, we love it, you'll love it. Um, now in here we've got our rotorcast compartment here for storage. We've got a light in here. I always like when I have a light so I can see in here. And we've got the slide out controller for this slide here. And then towards the back here, I've got a fresh water drain, couple panels that you have to take off, and our second valve to winterize the coach. Now remember, if you if we are lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National and RV centers, you don't have to worry about winterizing your coach. We'll take care of that for you, and you're always plugged into 30 amp service. All right, I'm really excited to show you what's behind this door. I feel like I'm on the prices right, <laughs> um, but we've got two. Uh, this is our Smart LP system, and we've got two 20 pound propane tanks. So this is a great feature because when you're camping, you don't have to break camp if you need more propane. You can just take it out, go get it refilled. Another great thing about this is I have two here. There's room for four. So you can have up to 80 pounds of gas right here. And at National Indoor RV Centers, we can add a quick connect line for you. So you can use one for the grill. Just makes it super convenient for you. And then we have our hydraulic system for our jacks right next to it. All right, again, notice the big window that we have here for the driver. I love that this opens. This is nice so that you, when you're driving, you can open the window and access the toll, or if you need to talk to your, you know, the person who's giving you the backup instructions, it just makes it really easy. Plus, if you're just sitting in a campground, you can go ahead and open that window and have the screen there. Really nice. Then we have our heated and internally controlled mirrors, our side view camera, and our marker light for the driver's side of the coach. The Intent has a 6.8 liter Ford Triton V10 engine with 320 horsepower. Let me show you a little bit about what's inside our engine compartment. So right here at the top, we've got our brake fluid. Just below that, we have our power steering fluid. Here's our engine oil dipstick. This is our air filter for our engine and our air intake. This grill right here is the condenser for our AC. And then behind that is gonna be your radiator. We have our transmission fluid dipstick. And then right here we've got our engine oil fill, our coolant. So just below that we've got our windshield wiper fluid and our chassis battery. All right, let's go check out my favorite part inside. As I walk into the coach, a couple things I want to point out. First of all, I have a really nice sturdy grab bar walking in. And then once I get inside, I've got one on the inside for when I leave. Now, Winnebago mounts all of their grab bars, their cabinets, their appliances to steel. So very strong. Grab that. It doesn't move. So the fire extinguisher just to my right as I walk in the door. So that's easy to get to from outside the coach or if I need it inside the coach. Hopefully we don't need it at all. And then over here, we've got our patio light. So when I turn that on, it's gonna illuminate the light here, give me a little walkway light, so protect me from falling in the stairwell here, and then light up outside. Then I've got the lights for my dinette. Then we have our awning in and out button, and our awning light on and off. And this is for our power step. So once I'm at the campground, I don't want the step to keep going in and out every time I open the door. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and that will make it so it stays out when I open the door. So if you've seen my videos before, you know that the inside is my favorite part. Isn't this gorgeous, Coach? First of all, we have the Sonoma wood, so it's that light wood, very residential, high-end filling, and we have the soft linen um, interior package. Now check out these chairs and our uh, cushions for our, our dinette. This is, it looks like linen fabric. In fact, when I first came in here, I was like, man, that's gonna be hard to keep clean. And then I touched it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to wipe this off and clean it. And it's very durable, new product that Winnebago's using, but I think it looks beautiful. I've already turned the captain and co-captain's chairs around. They're super, super easy. Winnebago uses the Versa swivel seat. So I'll demonstrate that to you later, but you don't have to do like a 10 point turn to get them around. So that's really nice. Cause this is the way you're gonna use your coach when you're in the campground. Extra seating here, your dinette. And then this is one of the really cool features is we've got this bed. So I love it the way that Winnebago's made it. You don't really notice that it's a bed when you first walk in. You notice you've got these nice cabinets. You've got some storage here over the driver's seat. Uh, we've got a nice mirror I'll discuss in a little bit. And then over here, we've got another nice cabinet. This is pre-wired for Wi-Fi, and you've got two 110 outlets up there. And then we've got our bed. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to operate the overhead bed. Now you do need to watch out for a couple things. First of all, make sure there's no kiddos or anything in the way. And then you need to have your park brake set and your ignition needs to be in the on position or run position. And then all you do, you have the key in here. It won't work without the key. So turn the key to the on position, bed down. Easy as that, nice and quiet. So the ladder for the bunk stows nicely underneath the cushion. Just pull that up and pull it out. All right, so then you just hook the ladder on here. This is a little bit different mechanism than you might be used to seeing, but it hooks securely in place so it's not just gonna slip off. So you just bring the ladder up till it's like horizontal, slip it on, let it drop down so it's nice and secure. All right, as I go up into the bunk area, there is lots of storage up here. I'm just gonna push my cushion down that, now that my ladder's out. So you can see we have two big storage compartments at the very back with the cargo nets. So kids can put their games and toys and stuff up there and they're not gonna be rolling around loose. Two big storage compartments on either end of the bed. We've got two 110 outlets there. And then we have the push button light and we have a vent for the decked AC. And then we have Jensen speakers, so we can have a little dance party up there if we wanted to. Now the bunk bed will support up to 300 pounds. So now we're at the dinette. Now this is great because we have a couple options. What's, what I didn't mention is that this coach will comfortably sleep six people, so two in the bunk, two at the dinette, two in the back bedroom. We have seat belts for five, so two up front, one in the rear facing booth, and two in the forward facing booth. Then this is a really cool table. So I always like to have little secret compartments. We have a secret compartment here. So there's little levers. Just pull those up and look at that. You can have a standing laptop workstation. You can keep your laptop in here if you want. You can keep the kids board games or crafts or coloring books and crayons, all that stuff that we don't know where to put. We wanna put it away quickly before dinner. We can just slide it into here and disappears. I love that. <laughs> We've got our cup holders here as well. All right, so this easily makes into a bed. I just put the cushions up top on the table, make it easy. And then it also has great storage underneath the bench as well. So I'm gonna show that to you here. Got our two seat belts. And then I'm just gonna push that cushion up, out of the way. Check out all that storage underneath. As I'm showing you everything throughout the coach, I just want you to pay attention to the labels that you're gonna see on everything. The cushions, the wood inside the bench, the upper side of the cabinet. Those are the labels that if you need those parts ever replaced, you call Winnebago, no problem, they can take care of it for you. Check out the storage that we have here. Lever just right underneath the table and pull that over. 
and it just pushes down. Gives you a nice snug fit so it's going to be a comfortable bed. While I've got the bed made, I want you to see that we have the two 110 outlet and the 12 volt outlet that sit just underneath the table. And then notice the nice storage that we have over the dinette. Again, you get lots of storage with the Winnebago. These cabinets are really deep. I can barely reach my arm to the back. Nice and tall. They are all the way through. There's no bar in between here, so we can get even more things in there. I just love that. And then just below the cabinets, we have the push button lights. So you want a little extra light, you just reach up and push the button. Another safety feature from Winnebago is you're going to see a child safety hook back there. That's to hook your child's car seat to. So they pull test those for the DOT and they pass that. So you should feel, feel very secure putting your little loved ones in here in their car seat that they're going to be safe. So we have sleeping for six, but we have a booth that's only going to hold four people. So we've got a dinette, basically the, for the front two people as well. So you're just going to go ahead and put the table leg in there. And then we have a tabletop and this has a dual purpose. So I can put it in the center slot if I want to share with the uh, co-captain here and have a table for both of us. Or if I just want to have a laptop table or a swivel table for myself, I can put it in this hole. So I'll just show you. If we're gonna share and have dinner together, that's what I do. If I want it to be just for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. And now I've got like a laptop table, you know, hold my iPad or I can let my co-captain use that as well. Or my co-captain can use it as well. One thing I wanna point out is how solid this is. I mean, it's not moving around. I can put weight on it. I can eat dinner on it. We could both eat dinner on it. It's not rickety and I didn't have to screw it in. I just set it in both in the bottom and the top. So it's really easy to assemble and nice and sturdy. So look at the nice big 39 inch TV that Winnebago's given us here in our living room area. We're going to be able to easily see that from the captain and co-captain's chairs, from the booth and from the bunk. So that's really nice. Another thing they do, just adding that bit of quality. So, I mean, the extra that they give you is they give you this shelf. It's encased in this shelf and look, a great place to store a remote because are you always looking for your remote? <laughs> I'm always blamed for using ours. So now we have a spot for it, no one gets in trouble. Now, as we move into the kitchen, we're gonna see down here, we've got the safety plus, this is our propane alarm. So again, another safety feature by Winnebago. And then look at this beautiful sink area. I have got tons of counter space in this. I really like that. And then we've got the thermoform countertops. Notice that there's no T edge here that's going to peel away when this gets wet because it's definitely going to get wet. Then we have the undermount sink with the high gooseneck residential faucet. So you're going to be able to get your big pans in there for cooking and cleaning. I just love this. And then check out all this space here and a window. Love to have my kitchen window. That's the reason I'm out camping so I can see what's going on outdoors too and watch the kiddos. Then we've got our push button light here. And we've got the light for underneath the microwave. So check out the storage in this cabinet. Love this, first of all, adjustable shelf. So that's really nice. If I want to take this shelf out, I could put my coffee pot, my Instant Pot, my air fryer. Those would all fit in here. If I want to, you know, raise that shelf or take it out completely, that's an option. Leave it in here, use it for pantry. Also back in the corner here, we've got all of our kind of connection so we've got our satellite connection our cable connection two 110 outlets and our hdmi connection a lot of manufacturers at this price point won't put the outlet in the wall because they don't have the wiring in the walls winnebago does and remember they have the wiring diagrams too another thing that our text like and then you see that we've got the two 110 outlets right here in the wall so that's really easy to get to then we have our light underneath our microwave our three burner gas stove and we have an oven as well we have our 110 outlet with the GFI switch here then 
this is a really nice cabinet. I like it because it's nice and tall and deep. I'm gonna be able to get a garbage can and put it in there. I like to be able to put that away so that you don't have to see it as soon as you walk in the coach. That's just me. And then we've got nice drawers with full extension glides on them. Look how deep they are. They come all the way out. I love that. And then we have one more big one. I mean, that's nice and deep. I could definitely get a crock pot in there, some of my bigger appliances. So I love to have a place to put those away so that I don't have to have them out on the countertop. Here we have our residential refrigerator and freezer. This is 7.3 cubic feet. We've got the little trays for our eggs. I love these little, little things. And then we've got a tray for our veggies. And our freezer. Nice size freezer. I can get a couple gallons of ice cream in there. That's super important, you know. And this is all electric, so it's gonna keep it very cold. And then we've got the lock that you just simply flip over and it will keep that securely locked for you. And speaking of checklist, I have a RV 101 four part series. Go and check out part two to see my checklist for what I do before a trip. And then part one is on packing and organizing your coach for a trip. And some of my customers actually so show some of their helpful hints. So as we get to your pantry area here, I think that will be really helpful. You've got a nice big pantry here. You'll be able to see some of those tips and tricks of how they pack their pantries. One of the things that I love that Winnebago gives you, have a pointed out the cute little W that you'll see all over the coach. Um, I love that they give you these trays. Those aren't gonna rattle when you're going down. Um, the road, you have one above and one below here, but these are nice deep cabinets. You're gonna be able to get everything in there and they're tall, cereal boxes, oatmeal boxes, they're all gonna fit in there. And we have one more drawer below our refrigerator. So tons of storage. How many times should I say that? Tons of storage, tons of storage, tons of storage. We have our kitchen max fan. This has a on and off control here. It has four speeds to the fan and then you need to open and close it manually. This is uh, Winnebago's one place. So they put everything in one place. Again, that makes it easy for the user. So I'm just gonna go from top to bottom here. This is the control for your bed, over cab bed. And again, you've gotta have your parking brake engaged and the engine on, and then this key on for that to work. So again, safety. And then we've got our slide out controls. This you also need to have the parking brake engaged and engine on for your slide out controls to work in or out. Well, we're here by the slides. It made me think about this is our triple slide 28 foot coach. It's the 28 Y floor plan, which is one of Winnebago's best selling floor plans in this model. Here we have our tank levels. So as I push these buttons, it's going to tell me the battery level, fresh tank level, black, and gray. Here's where we can turn on our gas water heater and this is here where we can turn on our water pump and this is where we can start our generator and it's going to show us the generator hours right here. This is our solar charge controller. So remember this is prepped for solar. You have three places on your roof where you can add solar panels and the portable one outside so you can add up to 475 watts of solar panel, um, solar panels. Here's our thermostat control for our AC and our furnace. So wanna talk a little bit about the AC. So we have a 15,000 watt BTU AC unit right here, but you have an option where you can add two 13.5 AC units. So where you've got the fan in the, in the bedroom, that can become an AC unit. And this is ducted air, so that's a really nice feature as well. And this is our inverter control. So this isn't a toggle switch. If you wanna turn that on, you just have to hit it and hold till the light comes on, and then do the same when you wanna turn it off. So hit it, hold, and the light will go off. And this is just our hall light here. And down below, we've got our breaker box and fuse box for the house. So starting in the bathroom, first of all, I want you to notice how many towel racks and hooks there are. So on the door, we get three 
I almost couldn't count that. Three, one, two, three. <laughs> and then we have a hook here. We have another hook here. I, I love that they've given you a place to hang the towels because I hate them on the ground. So then we've got lots of storage in here as well. Nice, again, I don't know if I've mentioned the solid wood cabinets. You, they're, you know, make sure you knock on them and see how, how good and sturdy they sound. Then we've got two compartments here. We've got a 110 outlet at the back. Another nice deep storage compartment. A drawer here at the bottom. Love to have drawers because that just separates your goods. And then we've got our control switch here for the bathroom light. Let's go to our storage over here. Again, we've got a vent for the AC, which is nice. And basically a big, huge medicine cabinet. Look at all that counter space we have around our sink, big mirror, more storage, and room for a little garbage can underneath the sink so we can tuck that away. Toilet paper holder, we've got our um, hand-controlled flush here on our toilet and then you know how I talk about quality this is one of the places that you'll fill that um, in the Winnebago intent so you can step on this floor you know how you'll get into some showers and it feels like you're gonna fall through this is nice reinforced feels very sturdy kind of like my shower at home and I've got lots of room in here also have the handheld shower head and I can if I'm going to do a military shower, lather up, I can turn off the water right here, or then have to use the knobs, and then turn that back on. We've got our hot and cold controls, and then I've got the skylight here. So look at all that space. So you can easily get someone that's very tall, and they can take a comfortable shower in here. Place for our soap, always like that, and a nice sturdy door with a lock on it. Another thing you wanna check before you take off on your trip. Finally, to the master bedroom. So we have a little privacy door here, which is nice. Great to have all that family time, but nice to be able to have your own space in the evening. We've got our queen size bed. Check out our cute little W on our bed here. And then let's talk about our nightstand. So we've got nightstands on both sides of the bed. I love that. Winnebago thinks of everything. Um, for those of you that use CPAP machines, you've got an outlet right below the nightstand, 2110, and a USB on both nightstands. And another little spot I like, I like this little cubby that I have right here. Throw my phone in there, keep my water up here. Just nice to have those extra options. We've got our push button light, or reading light, I like that. And then more storage and that's really nice deep storage again i might have to get some plastic containers to get to that but i love that i have the option and i have that space so over here on the other side of the bed again i have another nice deep storage cabinet my push button light and we have a window i love having a window in the bedroom so if i'm up in the mountains i can turn on my fan i can open my window here have some cross ventilation and pull on that beautiful mountain air that's why we're camping right so i like that option then we have our nightstand again plenty of room for a cpap two usb ports and two 110 outlets and then we have great storage underneath our bed so look at all that storage. Very easy to lift the bed up. It's not heavy at all. I almost forgot to show you my favorite thing about this coach. Okay, how many times have I said that? I have lots of favorites, but this is really cool. This is like the most pet friendly coach you could get because I get asked all the time from customers, where can I put a litter box? Where can I put Rover's you know, toys? Where can I do this, that? We have a little pet palace. That's what they call it. So right underneath the bed, I can put a litter box in here. I can, pets can go in and out as they please. I love it, it's super cool. Now, if for some reason you didn't wanna use it like that, there is a little board and I can just shut that off also. But I know my customers and I have lots of customers with pets and they are going to love this. All right, so we have our big back window. I mentioned this on the outside, but I really love having a window in the bedroom. That's one of the bonuses of a gas coach because typically this is where your engine would be in a diesel pusher. In a gas coach, 
you have a space here where you can have a window so that if you're backed into a campground, you're backing up to the lake or the ocean, you have a beautiful view um, from your bedroom. And this is also our emergency exit as well if we ever needed to use that. Then they've given us a full length mirror, which is nice. Just because we're camping doesn't mean we don't want to see, you know, if our outfit's cute. So I like that little feature. Then we've got big cabinet here. Now you remember the table and um, table leg and table top that I used between the captain's chairs? This is where it stows. So easily goes in here, not gonna rattle around while you're traveling. And then look how big this cabinet is. So I love that there's no bar in between here. That's gonna give me extra space, big wardrobe. I've got a light in there. Love that. And then we've got a nice big drawer. Nice big, look at that full extension, deep drawer. Another one just like it. And then we're over to our entertainment center. We have our 32 inch TV. Just below that, we have another push button light for this area here. Another window, so again, more cross ventilation. We've got two 110 outlets and our HDMI input here. Then counter space, how about that in the, in the bedroom? That's really nice. This is our light switch for the bedroom. And then we've got a couple more drawers. And then a big space here, we've got little cargo net to keep those items in there. So you get lots of storage, comfortable sleeping area. We've got the fan up here. I mentioned that earlier that you can turn on and off four different speeds and then you just crank it open and closed. And we've got our carbon monoxide detector here. One of the requests I always get is to see the coach with the slides in. So I'm back in the master bedroom. You can see there's plenty of room here. If I pulled into a campground at night, I would not have to take the slides out to use the bed. And then I can easily get into the bathroom. And there's lots of room in that bathroom. And if I'm in the kitchen, I can get into the refrigerator, freezer. I could be cooking here in the kitchen using the microwave. I've got my sink, countertop, dinette, lots of space. Here in the captain's area, I wanna to talk to you about this seat. So Winnebago engineered the Versa swivel seat and makes it really easy to turn this around and have it be part of your living room. It's not like you have to move, you know, everything. We've all done it, trying to turn the seats around. They could be really clunky sometimes, so this one's easy. So your first level here, you just lift that and Swivel it around, easy as that. Now you may have to move the seat forward or backwards a little, which is the next lever. So you can just move that forward or back. That's super easy. And then this control will help you move the seat forward and back. So super easy to use. So here to the left of the dash, we have the control for our external mirrors. And then we can turn the mirror heat on right there. So if it's cold day, turn that on. We have a nice drink holder here. You have lots of room around here too in the front cab area. Here's our nightshade button. So just push that down and up for our front nightshade. Then we've got our light switch. So off, our runner lights, our headlights. And then right here, we've got the switch that will control the brightness or the dimness of the dash display. I like it always on the brightest possible. Then we have our battery boost. So the battery boost button is super important. You can use it a couple different ways. So if you come into your coach and you try to go take the slides out, or turn the lights on, and it's just, you know, you, get, you, you don't have a bunch of charge in those batteries, go ahead and hit the battery boost button and you're gonna tie your chassis and your house batteries together. Hopefully it give you enough power to start your generator and start charging up those house batteries. Now, if you come into your coach and you can't start it, you're gonna do battery boost to tie the chassis and the house batteries together again so that you can use your house batteries tied with your chassis batteries to help you start your engine. So I've got my emergency brake on right now. If I were to release that, I just pull this right here and then push it on, release. So right here, we've got the lever to control the steering column up or down so you can put that where it's comfortable and you can see your dash 
Well, then we've got the control for our turn signals, right and left, flash your brights, keep your brights on, and our windshield wiper controls, and then our windshield wiper fluid here, you just push in there. And right back here, we've got a little red sensor that's gonna let us know if our jacks are down when we start the engine. We have our hazards here, push that in to turn them on, push it in again to turn them off. And then we have our gear control, so this is just gonna take us from park, reverse, neutral, drive. We also have the tow haul mode on here, so when we press this in, that's gonna put us in tow haul mode. And you basically use that when you're in the mountains. If you're going down the mountains, it's gonna save your brakes a little bit. You're gonna push that in, and then every time you step on the brakes, it's gonna shift down a gear, all the way to first gear. Here we have our Bluetooth speaker for hands-free calling. And then we're gonna go down here, and this is gonna allow us to scroll through our engine information. So your trip information, temperature, miles to empty, engine hours. You can also use the setup to kind of customize the information that you're seeing. And then resets going to give you some diagnostic information. So your transmission temp okay, brake fluid level okay, engine temp okay. So that's basically your information center for the dash and your engine. So here on the steering column, we have our cruise control. So you're just gonna hit that on and off for cruise control. And then you can set your acceleration, coast and resume and your horn. Super important that when you use that. Here's your engine radio house button. You're probably wondering what that is. Well, I love this button. I love that Winnebago gives you this option. So you're driving around, enjoying your music, you get to your campsite and you turn your engine off, you lose your music. So this allows you to turn off your engine, put that on and your radio is gonna continue playing your favorite songs. Here's the 12 volt receptacle on the dash. All right, so let's go over the audio control center. One of the things that's super cool about this is that look what Winnebago engineered. So I can angle that towards me, the driver, or if I want my co-pilot to put in an address for me or use the radio, angle it towards the co-pilot. Love that feature. So cool, we can both use it or we can just put it right in the middle. So very user-friendly. So we have our radio button, our disc, our USB, our Bluetooth. So we can go ahead and connect our phone so we can have um, hands-free calling, our aux cord and our camera view. So right now we're in the shop at National Indoor RV Centers, but soon we'll be hitting the road and you'll be able to see, see the rear view camera while we're driving. Then we can use this USB port to do like CarPlay. So I can go ahead and plug in my USB port, put on my navigation system, and start. Head west on Tropical Parkway toward Donovan Way. So I can listen to the navigation instructions or I can hand my phone to my co-pilot or get a dash mount so I can see it and hear it while I'm driving. So we have our AC and heat controls here. So our fan control, our defrost, our hot and our cold, our air circulation, and then where do we want that air directed? So very simple to use. And then this is our Lippert uh, electronic jack system. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now. So you wanna have your parking brake engaged and then turn your coach on. Then you're gonna come over to the panel here and hit the power button. And I'm gonna hit auto level. It will kind of walk you through what's happening. Auto level success. So we're all done. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the system. It's still beeping because my engine is on and they want to, it wants to make sure I don't take off with my jacks down. So the red light is now lit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the engine and the beeping will stop. Just to make sure you're not confused, it does say electronic leveling here. These are hydraulic jacks that we're using on the intent. Electronic just refers to the controller. All right, I wanna go ahead and retract my jack, so I'm gonna turn on my engine. I'm gonna have that audible alarm again. Now 
Now I'm going to hit the power and retract. All right, jacks are up and we're ready to go. So I can go ahead and turn this off. So as a driver, do you ever feel like you're missing out on all the fun in the back of the coach? Well, this is the conversation mirror. So I love this. I've never seen this before in an in a RV, but Winnebago's given this so that you're kind of still part of the action that's happening in the back of the coach or the center of the coach while you're driving. So it just keeps you in touch with your family and everything that's going on in the coach. So while I'm here at the dash, I just want you to check out this cool aluminum front dash that Winnebago engineered. I think it looks really sleek and cool and I love it for entry-level coach. I just wouldn't expect it. I think it looks really nice. And then we've got a drink holder here. Over to my left, I've got two USB chargers. And then below my drink holder, I've got two 110 outlets. And then this is a really cool feature that Winnebago has engineered as well. We've got our little workstation here. Oh, check out, we've got another park number. So in case something happens to your workstation, you can get another one. You just fit that, put it up straight and then fold it down and then you can move it along wherever it's handy. So you've got a little workstation as you're going down the road. Love this. So I really love this front dash. Um, Winnebago engineered it. One of the things about this dash is when you go to the factory, I gotta go to see this myself, the aluminum starts out in these billets and then they push it through this big like play-doh machine actually it's called an, an aluminum extruder but that's kind of the visual and then it's a 1650 ton press which equals three million pounds of pressure to make these extrusions and build this beautiful dash i also wanted you to notice the mcd nightshades and then again we just have the big window up front here i can push it all the way open put the screen atop, across. I love that feature. All right, so I'm super excited to take this intent out on the road for a test drive because I've been so impressed with the quality that Winnebago's built in, their safety features. I'm anxious to get out on the road and see how it handles. So let's go. All right, so I don't want you to be afraid to drive an RV. I know I have a lot of customers that that's one of their biggest um, fear to entry or fear to getting an RV is just simply driving it. So I felt that way when I started and it just takes a little practice. Um, what I like to do with my customers when they first come in is I take them to a park just around the corner from the dealership and there's no pressure of other cars around them and I let them get comfortable in the parking lot and depending on how comfortable they get then we'll go out onto the road but we can you know practice parking there, we can practice staying in the lane these big old coaches do fit in the lane. And I think that's one of the things too that you are fearful of when you first start. Another thing that's just a word to the wise when you're driving is you wanna hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. So don't always stay in the left lane because you'll get cars behind you really mad at you. Um, but hug the left side of the lane because everything bad happens on the right. Um, street signs, occasionally they stick out further than they should and they'll, you know, scratch your precious paint job, um, tree limbs, road debris, bad road conditions, all typically are gonna be more so on the right side of the coach. So as I'm starting, starting to turn here, I've got my turn signal on. So my camera is showing me the full side of the left side of the coach. So I can see what's gonna be on that side of me along with my mirrors. That's another thing that makes this coach so easy to drive these great mirrors, your turn signals, your backup camera, you've got it all. The intent is very quiet for a gas coach. Typically your diesel pushers are gonna be a little bit quieter, but I did my decibel reader, it's at 71.6, which is normal conversation level. So I can talk to my family in the back of the coach, to my co-pilot, and I don't have to yell. So one of the great things about RVing is that it's a great family activity. So don't delay start making those memories with your family today it's a great it's it's one of those things you can't um, you can't replace those memories are something your kids will have for a lifetime your family will have for a lifetime and an RV is a great way to do it because the vacation starts as soon as you step behind this wheel you've got your front mirror that you can look in and see what's going on in the back and you're gonna have stories for a lifetime so don't delay come and see us at National Indoor RV Centers
I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of Winnebago's Intent 28Y floor plan. Now I'm sure you're wondering how you could buy this beautiful coach for your family and start making memories to last. So what's it going to cost you? Well MSRP is $136,086 and MAP pricing, minimum advertised price, is $102,64. If you want to know how much I can sell you this coach for, give me a call at 469-277-1120 or you can email me at angie at nirbc.com. Now if I don't answer my phone, leave me a message. I may be making another video or talking to one of my other customers. Or you can always go to our website, nirbc.com, and see all the coaches that we have to offer. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with national indoor RV centers. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you go and check out my four part series, RVing 101, and you probably wanna find out what our AIM Club is all about. So check out aimclub.org. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.